the truth. You're listening to your host, Akeem L. on Hindsight Radio. Peace, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to the Truth Tuesday show with your host, Akeem L. here on Hindsight Radio, the information station changing the nation. I hope everybody in your family is doing good. I myself, I'm doing great. Everybody that's close to me is doing well, is doing good as well. Um, just finished a seminar in Charlotte. It went pretty good. I had a small crowd this time. It uh, wasn't like New Jersey, but it still was a good seminar. People came there and got what they needed. Uh, the information that they uh, came to get, you know, they, some people said they got more than they thought they was going to get. I told you, you know, you got to come prepared to the seminars because when I do the seminars, I don't hold back the information. Um, and some people weren't prepared to move forward in the uh, with the information. But, you know, nevertheless, they'll get it. With that one being down, got another one coming October the 5th in Las Vegas. Uh, I knew that was coming because the guys were putting it together. They finally finalized the date. So it would be October the 5th in Las Vegas. All of the information is at my website, akeemel.com. And since I have my website up, I'll just read the information. Uh, go to akeemel.com, click the events tab. Uh, it's at the Residence Inn by Marriott, Las, Las Vegas. 7690 South Las Vegas Boulevard, Las Vegas, 89123. Uh, again, this seminar is only $200 online and at the door. Same price. But if you come to the door and you want to pay, you must bring cash, please. Um, we're going to b- talk about the DS-11 correction, driver's license correction, SS-5, birth certificate, uh, W-8, W-9 forms that I give away at the seminars. Uh, also, the IRS rejection and child support rejection letters, we'll be dealing with that as well. Um, that's right. At this seminar, I, I, I tell the whole story, everything. It's more about a p- application and leaving there and being able to co- accomplish what you came there to learn, being able to apply it in your life. Uh, I do talk about history a little bit, you know, but I think everybody knows the history already. They they already got that, you know, the whole slave story is a one big myth. A lot of it is. Uh, they got that already. So I don't need to keep beating that in the ground. Um, even the ones that are new to the seminars got it because they've heard it some, from somewhere else. Um uh, most people who come to seminars, they want information that they can use, <clears throat> and I try to supply that. Uh, so hope a lot of people on that side of the world, of the United States of America, hope to see you there. I got some emails already of people talking about they're coming, but, you know, I got a lot of emails about North Carolina, and a lot of – I can tell you, actually – Maybe one or two of the people who said they was going to be there was there, but out of the 10 to 15 people who said they was going to be there, they didn't show up. So what I say to that is just show up. You don't have to, you know, it doesn't do anything for me or you when you say I'm going to show up and then you don't show up. I mean, just don't make yourself a liar. <laughs> just keep it to yourself, you know. You don't have to make it. doesn't. We have a habit of doing that. Some of us have a habit of just saying something just to be saying it. You don't really mean it, you know? And I know you might be offended at what I'm saying. You know you don't really mean it when you say it sometimes. But this, me, when I when I feel like I'm, I, I'm not sure about something, I don't say anything. I just not don't say it. So I don't be, I like to be a man of my word most times. And if I can't keep my word, I say that I can't keep it, you know. We got to work on letting our yes be yes now, and our no means no. But 
overall, it still turned out to be a great seminar, you know, uh, uh, success. People came up to me and said, hey, listen, you know, I want to be accountable. I'm going to donate to you to, you know, to so that I can do the full process with you. Still, people want to work closely with me to make sure that it, it happens. And because when they work closely with me, I make sure it happens. I follow them through it. Some people are more difficult than others. Some don't need all of that. But they still want to work and make sure that they're doing right. Also, they want to be a part of this um, this group I'm putting together. Because I'm not just allowing anybody to be a part of the group, you know, because I, I want people who are serious, who's willing to study it and add something to the conversation, not just leeching off information and not without them doing their own studies. This is, this, that's what a study group is. If you study, you go read it and bring back what you learned or what you take from it. You know, that's studying. Uh, before I get into some of the things I want to talk about, also, the tonics are at my website, com for your health needs. Pretty soon I'll have me some Vitality capsules up there. Uh, I had a meeting with uh, Dr. Daniels yesterday, and she has committed to doing one show a month, one Tuesday out of every month. She's going to be generous of her time and come on the show and share with you her health knowledge, which is very vast and beneficial. Um, so looking forward to that. Uh, I was gonna, I'm going to talk about the SESTA-K V Trust or Act of 1666. I'm going to talk about that. But before I talk about that, I was uh, – I got up this morning and I was doing some research. And I, you know, you're going, you're browsing, you're typing something that you're searching for. And I was typing something I was searching up for, and then something popped up that I know I didn't do a search for, but it popped up. And it wasn't even connected. It like, you know, you type out certain words or certain letters, and everything in that letter that comes up will pop up which you've searched for before. But this came up, and I know I wasn't doing any research for it. It's called The Terror Papers by Robert Morning Scott. And it's like an essay. More, it's like a little short book. But it's about the history of the, the, the planet, history of the universe. And I read the whole thing. It's only about 54 pages, but I read the whole thing this morning. And uh, talks about, of course, we've talked about this in the past, the Anunnaki, but it, when you read this thing, it, it, it has a lot of similarities to a lot of stuff in the Bible, a lot. You know, talks about what this planet was named before or what it was before it became uh, Earth. You know, the actual ancient name is Eridu. Now we call it Earth. But before that, it was part of a bigger planet because of the wars that broke apart and became, it was uh, uh, Terramat. Uh, let me make sure I'm pronouncing it right. Because um, they had all of these words in here. Uh, what is this? Talks about Marduk and. I know those sound like <laughs> cartoon names, but those are the names they were using. Oh, uh, I think it's Terramit. Uh, Ter Come on, now I can't find. Let me see. Control. Yeah. I can type it in. Okay. I guess it ain't going to let me search this way. I am going to find it. Okay, let's go up to here. Oh, um, well, basically, it was given the history of the planet. But if you read this, it has a lot of similarities to how the Bible reads. But it goes into depth 
how man was created, what this was all about. I suggest you read this, people read this with an open mind. Because if you read this, if you read it and you have an open mind, you can see how your nationality is directly related to this story, who you are and where you're from. Uh, and, and what I noticed that a lot of the names that are used in this uh, story has connections to the names of different tribes. Oh, that we call the Native Americans, American Indians. Oh, Bay is in here, but it's not spelled the way you read. Tiamat, 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 T-I-A-M-A-T, Tiamat. Oh, somebody, hang on a second, y'all. Oh, a lot of the names in here are connected to a lot of these tribal uh, tribal names that we use for our ancestors. So read it. You can believe it or not believe it, but I believe it has a lot of truth to it. Uh, and here's one of the things that I noticed about these uh, terror papers or what do they call these? Yeah, the terror papers. <clears throat> the main people that was in charge or beings that was in charge of everything, of this whole galaxy, were queens. No one could do anything without them. They had to get permission to even go to war from them. But it's a short read, an interesting read. It kept my attention. And I was looking for something else, so I know I had to read this. And, and, and I, had, I saw this before, but I didn't pay any attention to it. But um, the elves, the bays are in here, the alleys, the owls. Yes, they're all in this, this story. Um, but it's called the Terror Papers. Do a, like a Google search, and you should be able to pick up. Uh, Pull it up. The T E R R A papers by Robert Morning Sky. Oh. But when I read this whole thing, I you know what? I'll even read a part of it. Oh, just a small portion right here. It said Prince Oz's revenge was simple. Instead of using genetic materials of the Anunnaki, workers specified by Prince Enlil, Prince Ea used his own blood. In other words, man was created with the blood of the royal house of Anu in his veins. Man was the son of God, Ea, and as such is entitled to claim the throne of Eridu, a.k.a. Earth. So, if this story is true, we come from some ancient, out there group of people, which when you look at the Bible and pay attention to a lot of the scriptures, anyone who's read the Bible thoroughly can relate to what I'm saying. I mean, this even talks about how the flood came, oh, how that started. But... If you pay attention to the Bible and you read this with an open mind, you can fill in the gaps of the Bible that leaves you wondering, okay, what happened here? What happened there? So, and the Bible talks about wars that broke out in heaven between Michael and uh, the dragon, the serpent. He knows the L is at the end of that, end of that, Michael. Mikiel, right? So, and you read this, the stories are eerily similar, but with more details. You see? But some of y'all are not ready to hear that, so I'm not going to go and break this thing down. But, 
you know, even your messiahs come through some of these names. You have Jesus, you have Yahshua, but in the middle you get you get Asu, Isa, if you take certain letters out. And it also talks about how now this is old this this article is old. This was written a long time ago, right? It talks about how the ruling class who's ruling things and it's not who you think it is. It's purposely using electronic devices to keep you distracted, to make you forget who you really are, or to keep you from remembering who you, you really are. How they purposely went around the planet and destroyed everything that connects you back to who you really are. And to a degree, did that whole men in black technique where they flash the light and you forget everything? Remember, how do these people write these sci-fi movies, right? Where do they get these ideas from? You think they just were that talented? No, because they, they got, they was inspired by something to write that. Most of the stuff you see that's coming out of the imaginations of people are actually stuff that actually happened. They said there's nothing under the sun. We cannot perceive or conceive something that didn't exist already. You're just recycling. You're just bringing forth from memory what has happened. You know, the, the military had cell phones 50 years ago. You just didn't get a hold of it. Before VCR hit the the uh the household, you know, where everybody had one, they already had that back during the uh what do you call that? What's that show? The Twilight Zone used to be on. They had VCRs back then. All of this technology like cell phones is ancient really, but it's new to us because they're just letting us have it after they done uh backwards engineered everything so that they can hack it at, at you know, at any moment, whenever they're ready to use it, when they want to track you, you see? So enough of that. I think we should study our history past what these history books are saying, even past what these uh, archives are saying. We need to go deeper because there's ancient books out there that talk about our history, but they've hidden them from us. We know that we're more than what they say they are. We are. We know that. We we can feel that every day we wake up. We feel that we are bigger than what we're being taught in school, what they're talking about on TV, and just regular conversation. We know that within ourselves. But what makes us suppress those feelings, those uh, premonitions, is we allow outside influences to Say, oh, you being ridiculous. Are oh, you crazy? No, you're not being ridiculous. There has been a sudden surge in spiking people having vivid dreams, having premonitions. That's actually happening. That's real. But some of y'all don't want to talk about it because you don't want to seem like you're crazy. But the Bible spoke that that would happen in the last days. When, the, when we're coming of age, when a new dawn of thing, when the planet is changing and information is more readily available, that would happen. Okay, your brain is made of electrical pulses, right? And it picks up waves. It, it, it draws information out of the air. Now, we're surrounded by a bunch of radio waves everywhere passing through our bodies all the time. Sometimes you might get an image that you're not even thinking about just popping your head. Why? Because you're picking up on these radio waves. Now, you would probably be better at it if you had a cleaner eating habit, drinking cleaner water. That's why they want to poison you. They want to give you processed food. This is by design. Poisoning you is to keep you from activating certain abilities in you. 
Because if this document is true and you come from a greater race of people or an ancient race of people, well, the Bible says you are from God. May let us make man in our image. I'm just bringing it more down to a more perceivable, perceivable way of understanding it. You know, that document talks about they had lords over here. And you know the Bible always talking about the Lord, that Lord this, the Lord that. You know, talks about here, Baal, who Baal is. You know, the Bible talks about Baal as if it's evil. But according to this document, Baal was the one who was helping us be free. But anyway. Enough of that. <laughs> All right, what are we going to talk about? That's the KV Act 1666. It's an act that they uh, came up with in um, in Europe. Um, but I, it applies over here as well. I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to explain it. And why I'm talking about this and why your nationality is important. You know, your nationality is important, the designating who you are, where you're from. I mean, the Bible even made nationality important because you had to be from a certain tribe to even be a part of the temple. You had to be a, a certain tribe to be a part of the military. You had to be a certain tribe to do certain things. Not everybody had the same privileges. They had different Based on what family you were from, you connected. And the Bible's been talking about nationality. It talks about it all through it. Yet, we as a people don't think it's important. We want to accept terminology that's been thrown upon us, like black, African-American, colored, Negro. All right, okay, the Susquehanna K Act, I can't give you uh, the link I'm reading from, but... Here it is. An act for redress of inconveniences by want of proof of deceases of persons beyond the seas or absent, absenting themselves upon whom lives the state don't depend. Basically, this word, this, what they're saying is uh, this act is for people who are lost at sea or who are absent from their estate, from their land and haven't laid claim to it, right? One, sets the KV remaining beyond sea for seven years together and no proof of their lives, judging action to direct verdict as though sets the KV were dead. If such person or person for whose life or lives such the state has been or shall be granted as aforesaid shall remain beyond the seas or elsewhere absent themselves in this realm, by the space of seven years together and no sufficient and evident proof be made of the lives of such person or persons respectively in an action commenced for recovery of such tenement by the lessers or revision, reversionaries in every such case, the personal person upon whose life or lives such a state depended shall be accounted as naturally dead. So if they can't account for you, they, Say you're naturally dead. If you if you, you could just be missing, you could still be alive. But you having no one's given up their, you know, they don't have proof of life. And in every action brought for the recovery of the said tenements by the lessers or reversioners, their heirs or assigns, the judges before whom such actions shall be brought shall direct the jury to give their verdict as if the person so remaining beyond the seas or otherwise absenting himself were dead. Four, if the supposed dead man proved to be alive, then the title is revested. Let me read it again. If the supposed dead man proved to be alive, then the title is revested. Action for mean profits and interest. I'll go back and explain what I just read. Let me just read through it. Provided always that if any person or person or persons shall be evicted out of any lands or tenements by virtue of this act, and afterwards, if such person or persons upon whose life or lives such a state or estates depend shall return again from beyond the seas 
or shall on proof in any action to be brought for recovery of the same to be made appear to be living or to have been living at the time of the eviction, that then and from thenceforth the tenant or leasee who was outed of the same his of their executors and ministers or signs shall or may re-enter, repossess, have hold, and enjoy the said lands of tenement in his or, or their former state for and during the life of lives or so long term as said person or person upon whose life or lives the said estate and said depend shall be living and also shall upon action or actions to be brought by him or them against the lesser or reversioners or tenants in possession or other persons respectively, which since the time of the said eviction received the profits of the said lands or tenements to cover for damages the full profits of said lands or tenements respectively with lawful interest for and from the time he or they were outed of said lands or tenements and kept or held out of the same by the said lessers, reversioners, tenants, or other person who after said eviction received the profits of the said lands or tenements, or any of them respectively, as well in the case when the said person or persons upon whose life or lives such a state or a state did depend uh, or shall be dead at the time of bringing, bringing of said action or actions as if the said person or persons were then living. Basically, with all this legalese talking in circle, it's saying the government under this act, if you are deemed lost at sea or not uh, to be living or can't prove that you're alive, because if you read this, you could be living in your house and they could kick you out and you don't have proof of life, they could kick you out. Until you show proof of life. Why is this important to nationality? Right? Because when you're born, what do they give you? A birth certificate. We call it, they call it a title. Certificate of title. Right? That's why the very first, when it says for it, suppose that man proves we have lives and the title is revested. What title are we talking about? This birth certificate. Although they're calling it a birth certificate, we think a birth certificate means, okay, somebody was born or birth, right? Living, live. No. In legal terms, birth, is this, is really spelled B-E-R-T-H, a ship's allotted place at a wharf or dock, a fixed bed or bunk on a ship, train, or other means of transport. More a ship in its allotted place. Provide a sleeping face for someone. Birth. So, a birth relates to what is manifested out of what? A ship. Funny, they got the word more in here. <laughs> M-O-O-R, and it's a lot of a ship, and it's a lot of a lot of place. That's funny. So when we look at a birth certificate, it's really the other side of a death certificate, the way they are creating it at the county. It's not proof of life. It's just proof of a manifest that something came out of a birth canal. But the way they are doing it, that's why they take those footprints, put it on there. Then they convert you into, take that and convert it into a title or a birth certificate. And you're walking around thinking that this is all you need. They have deemed you after that baby is born, they have deemed you lost at sea. Then they create the account or the estate number, which we know as the Social Security number. Because if you, 
if you really understand how this thing works in uh, probate court, right, when a person actually, you know, according to our layman's term, when a person actually died, they, have, they go get an estate. They have to set up the estate, set up an estate account, get, a, get, a, get an EIN number, a state number to probate the estate. So there's always a two sides of an accounting. There's the incoming and the outgoing. See, the incoming is when the, when the person is born. The outgoing is when they actually, when they, when they deem them dead, when, they can, uh, when it's time to be probated. I'm trying to look for the word. So they create a death certificate to probate the estate. And most times they, you got to get like 10 copies of this death, death certificate. What do you think they're doing with this? This birth certificate. I mean, this death certificate. Right? They're taking that death certificate and bringing down all of the estate's assets. They're bringing them all down. And then they're distributing those funds to whoever who claims to be the beneficiaries. But because you're not claiming it, guess who's getting money, getting 20% of that estate? The trustees, your state officials. They get it. They put themselves down as beneficiaries because you don't know how to show, number one, proof of life. You never gave them proof of life so that when it's time to administer this estate, let them know, I'm here, give me what's mine. Yes, you still, you got to authenticate the birth certificate, put your affidavit of ownership, but you got to give somebody proof of life. That's why I told y'all to watch that movie, The 100 Pit Million Dollar Note, Pound Note. I know somebody said, well, who do I give it to? That's for my private class. Who do I give proof of life to? Who do I show that I'm here? See, for years, these people have been teaching about all these processes, and they made it very complicated, very complicated. Do this here. Do that here. Go do this. Had all this convoluted paperwork to go through, go with you. But the more and more I'm doing research, the process is very simple and to the point. It's not long and drawn out. How come I say this? Because when we did the passport, you know, people were doing their nationality through the passport, things happened automatically, no paperwork. Only paperwork they did was claim who they were. That's it. See, I want you all to understand, a lot of this stuff out here that they're teaching is misdirection or it's missing a lot of pieces. Because when I get paperwork in my hand and I read through it and I cut through the chase, I said, this is all you really need to do right here. All this other stuff is fluff. Because I notice that more and more I read stuff of other people's work, they'll have it all together and then they'll start saying more stuff and then put you right back into the jurisdiction. Like I was reading something today, and they were saying, you know, how they was an American national, but they were in the United States instead of the United States of America. First of all, you cannot be in the United States of America or the United States. You can be in your own country, your state in which you were born, your status, which is what? You're in the state of being, flesh and blood, number one, from God. That's number one. You should always claim that, number one. Number two, if you want to say something, you're in the Republic of what? North Carolina, South Carolina. Remember, all of this, those states created what you call a compact, a confederacy called the United States of America. Let me see this. So I want to be accurate here. 
This is this is what I want. What I'm talking about. It's saying state of. Now this is a document that's supposed to pull them out of being looked at as U.S. citizens. So they're saying. Secretary of the State of North Carolina in the United States. Wrong. It's supposed to read like this. Secretary of the State of North Carolina for the United States of America. Why? Because the United States of America is a confederacy with a combination of states of the union. So you cannot be in the state of, in the United States of America, because if North Carolina is one of the states that created this confederacy, it can only be four. The United States of America is, is, is basically what the Articles of Confederation. That's paper. How are you going to be in the paper? See, we have to be careful with what words we're using in these documents, how we're saying things, because this document was supposed to pull them out and make them look like they're not part. But when you look at it all through here, they're using, <laughs> like, yeah, I'll give you another something. In the receiving state, bearing a tourist visa endorsement for coast wide entry into the waters navigable, in fact, in the United States. What, what? The United States don't own no water? If I was going to say waters, I would say what? I would actually name the water. Whether it's the Pacific, Atlantic, Atlantic Coast, I would stay away from anything that said in the United States. Or you could say waters in the territory of what? Well, if I have waters in New York, right, there's waters right outside the, you got the Hudson River and all that. So if I'm using that water, I would say Hudson River on the coast of the Republic of New York. This is how you signify what you're talking about. Because when you start using United States in your paperwork, calling yourself getting out of their jurisdiction, you're putting yourself back in. We have to be what it was. Because when they define the United States, they don't say anything about water. They talk about Puerto Rico, outlying lands of Samoa and all specific islanders, those little territories. All right? We got to be careful in these wordings. Um. People are actually giving people paperwork. This is it. This is it. See, I know how something is not it when somebody's claiming something to be it. When I ask them, okay, how's this working? You know, give me some evidence. Oh, you know, we still, you know, then it ain't working. You know, I, I shut it down right there. All right. Oh, 754. I'm going to take a call before my daughter calls in. Um, but then we get to the rest of the callers. There you go. That's the key. Remember, I'm talking about we have to figure out, we have to learn. We have got to give notification to the right people that we are here. We claim. Because if you read that act, it talks about how they would kick someone off the land, even if they're on it. And you would get your interest payment. That's basically why they got mortgages, because the land's in trust. You're paying lease payments. You don't really own it. Because why? You got to keep paying taxes. Because what they're saying is the land is not really yours. That's why. Is if something was yours, you pay for it, you're done with it. You shouldn't have to pay taxes yearly on it. You're paying taxes because they got to bring that money back to the rightful owners. Okay? All right? Those, those government officials are trustees for the rightful owners. And the rightful owners are lost at sea. They haven't showed proof of life. And the rightful owners are you, people of color. You. But they made y'all think, y'all black African-American, y'all got ancestors over there, and y'all got, got over here, and 
and and, and, and you, you toiled these lands for three, four hundred years and set, sung old Negro spirituals and ate chitlings and hog moths. That's what they got y'all believing. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's take one call. Got five minutes. All right. 803 410. That's the South Carolina number. <clears throat> peace, peace to the God, I can't. Peace, peace. Peace to the God. What's going on? Not much, man. Uh, I uh, wanted to call in and tell you I enjoyed the seminar um, on, on this you, weekend, brother. man. Yeah, that was very yeah. good. I. Uh, the, the new information, the movie, the hundred, the million pound note, all that, it, it was very mm-hmm. eye opening, you know. Right. Um, when I got back, you know, I kind of started just trying to process everything, and you know, when you start talking about the few numbers of people there, I got a theory, and that theory is a lot of people. I call it busy being busy. You know, a lot of people like to talk about the information. They like to debate and go back and forth. But when it comes time to have to give up that social, you ain't going to have many people want to do it. They talk like they want to do it. But when it comes time to learn how to pull the trigger to do it, it's very few and far between, man. I think that that's my theory. I, I think... Yeah, a lot of people oh, don't have the courage to do it. That's a that's not a theory. That's a fact. That's yeah. a bona fide, unadulterated fact. <laughs> people talk that talk, but they when it comes yeah. to giving up the use of that thing, yeah. they're so programmed to use it. They feel like they're gonna lose something if they stop using it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I I did it. I did it. You know, I, I did it, and and it's an everyday life. It don't even—it's second nature to me now. It's like I ain't using my social for nothing. Well, why? Right. Right. What am I using it for? You know, I might yeah. have like one or two contracts that was existing that's almost done that I don't have that I have to you know. But far as since I've been teaching this information since 2015. Uh-huh. I have not given up that social to nobody. 2014, I yeah. to nobody. You know what I'm saying? And, it, right. and guess what? Life is easier when you don't give up the social. Easier. Yeah. It really yeah. is. Your life is, when you give that slave number up, your life becomes a life of bondage. I'm telling you. It's something, it's something, something about that number using it. <laughs> it creates a yeah. lot of problems. Yeah, you know, that uh, that, that's you, why I was. Yeah, go ahead, brother. No, I'm sorry. Well, I was gonna say that's why I was there Saturday. Uh, you know, I'm working my way out, uh, slowly but surely. But you know, when when you start showing the 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 path, you know, it, I don't understand, or you know, I guess I understand because I don't understand how you could wanna, you know, you should come out from among them, but yet you hold on to that last, uh, you know, you, you don't want to give it up. It's sort of like you wallowing in the pit, in the pig pen like the prodigal son. You know the food is bad. You know the surroundings are bad. But rather than going back to where you come from, you know, learning your ancestors and the traditions and ways, you just stay there and wallow in the mud. And, and it's, you know, after a while, I've heard the saying say you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. And, and that damn mm-hmm. social is one of the things that make you sick and tired because you just you continuously paying and paying. You never can save. I mean, it, it's just it's crazy. But I appreciate the way you mm-hmm. how you broke it down in the uh, in, in the seminar, man. Uh, that movie really mm-hmm. uh, changed me. Any of y'all that's out there listening, that what was it, it's the million pound note, right? Right, right. But, yeah, that, that's but I'm gonna good, tell you something. I would tell you something about that movie and about people mm-hmm. when they watch the movie. I I asked someone else, I said, watch the movie, they watch the whole movie. You know, they missed the whole point. <laughs> so what I'm saying is if 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 you ain't your mind ain't there, you're not gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I know 
me, I stopped it at certain points and I broke down certain things in the movie and said, here, look right here. Look at this. Don't disconnect to this. And I did all of that. That helped it be more understandable or overstandable. But, right. um, but even, what's the crazy part? Reading those terror papers connect back to the movie. Wow. It don't seem like it. It don't okay. seem like it, but when you read it, that terror papers, and then you watch the movie Jupiter Ascending, mm-hmm. all of Jupiter the Ascending, the same with Jupiter Ascending. That's another movie that talks about. It. We talked about that like back in when we first started the first year. But okay. um, yo, I know it was no joke or no accident for me to read the terror papers today. Because when I read it, it took my mind in a whole nother, took me outside of the, 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 the atmosphere with my, where I'm going to go with, with, with things. It really opened me up when I read those terror pages. I haven't read nothing all the way through in a long time. I read bits and pieces, go back to it. But I sat right. down, since I got up in the morning and read the whole thing, word for word. And when I got to the end of it, it broke down what needed to be done. Right. And I said, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here hey. we go. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you need that, man, especially when you when you get up reading in the morning. Uh, one thing I've done, brother, and I know you got your 8 o'clock call, so, hey, let me do this because I know you're going to take your call. Uh, I like yeah. to, if I can, uh, one thing I missed at the seminar, I didn't get the full disclaimer at the top of the uh, uh, explanatory oh, okay. statement. Well, Can you go that over that? Daughter. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right okay. There. Okay. Let me get her. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, brother. I'm back. Can you hear me? Nope. Nope. Hello? Can you hear me, Akeem? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Can you, I can hear you now. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, what I was saying is uh, at the um, I was at the uh, seminar and I didn't get the top part of the uh, disclaimer, and I was wondering if uh, you would be he so kind, about, man. When he, when he first went into the embassy. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm talking. No, 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 no. Not not the movie. I'm talking about when you were sharing the the disclaimer on the actual explanatory statement when you was when you were sharing that information, would it be uh proprietary information to share that top part where it says this is a permanent part of the record? You oh, know, all on, I on, did was say is make this a point permanent part of your affidavit. Okay. Uh, I could read that. That ain't that ain't. Okay. If I could find you talking about the part, that's not a disclaimer. Well, it is. It's kind of, it says these explanatory statements are to remain with an attached and passport application in order for this passport application to be true and correct under penalty of perjury under the laws of the United States of America. That's okay. really what that is. Okay. Yeah, All that's right. it. Yeah, that's just showing, yeah. you just giving them notice that your explanatory statements is to be a part of the record. You okay, know, don't I got separate you. separate it. It's part of the application. All right? Hey, that time you talked about the allonge in the driver's license, that what could be considered an allonge. Is, is, that that is an allonge. That's what this is, okay. an allonge. It's okay. actually an allonge. Yes, exactly. All right, okay. bro? Hey, look, thanks, man. Right, keep man, it, keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. okay, I will, okay. definitely. <laughs> Getting better. Right, better keep- and better every day. Right, okay, peace. brother. Peace. peace, brother. Oh, you know what? We kind of messed up here because we're supposed to talk about what's good in your life, but we talked about. Hey, the I, hey, hey look! I haven't but... hung up. I haven't hung up. Look, yeah. I can tell you right now. It, let's start it off with this Saturday. Um, I, I really enjoyed it because on the way there, I had a chance to kind of meditate. I shared with you um, that uh, I read the book uh, by Neville Goddard um, and. Mm-hmm. I re- got to the chapter where it was talking about uh, the least exertion, talking about meditating and being where you don't put in a lot of work, but you you just quiet. Well, three days later, I I got ten bands in my hand, man. 
I think I shared that with right, you. Right, yeah. Seminar. You did share that at the seminar, yes. I mean, miraculously, yeah. I mean, so I didn't, I, I was amazed. But what I'm saying is, you know, I changed the way I did do my day now. So what I did was instead mm-hmm. of saying 9 to 5, I get up now at 4.30 every morning. So now instead of 12 hours, I have 18 hours to work in a day, right? So I get mm-hmm. up before all the anti-spirits and all the haters get up. I'm when it's really slow at 4.30 in the morning and I get a breakthrough. And by the time 6 o'clock come, you know, I got my answers for the day or at least I got my direction from the universe. So I appreciate you mm-hmm. with suggesting the things that you are as far as that uh, positive, uh, you know, outlook. Uh, Neville Goddard is a good one. Uh, Florence Shevel Shin, she's another one. The Game mm-hmm. of Life and How to Play It. I love that book. Oh, yeah, somebody sent me that book. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said yeah, that was a good book. Well, thanks for the opportunity mm-hmm. to, uh, to share that with the people, okay, man. Keep bro. up the good work, brother. Peace. All right, thank you. Peace. All right, that's good testimony, here. Yeah. Brother enjoyed the seminar, and um, yeah. Oh, uh, what are you gonna do? All right, I'm gonna take a short break. And I will be right back. Right back. This is Hindsight Radio. I represent it. The information station changing the nation. All right, I'm back. Got to take a little break here. Uh, let's get back to the phone lines. Remember the rules. Speak up about your, yourself in a positive way. Uh, two five three four seven six. All right, I'm back. Peace to the gods. Peace to the gods. What's going on? How you doing? Yeah, doing great. Can you hear me? Oh, uh, doing, yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you good. Yeah, yeah. I just want to just make a comment first. Uh, family's doing good. Everybody's doing good. I just want to make a mention to you that the levy from the Internal Revenue Service has been lifted. I want to oh, make another comment man. to you. That's good news. I thank you for teaching me about jurisdiction. Jurisdiction mm-hmm. is everything. I didn't really realize what jurisdiction really meant until all the angels had dumped it all down on me on Sunday. Jurisdiction is everything. We can't go yes. in. I, your, when my angels came into the house, it was filled up with angels, and your voice kept ringing in mm-hmm. my ear, jurisdiction, jurisdiction in court. We're not going to move until we establish jurisdiction first. That just kept ringing in my ear What? a being in the mm-hmm. home with a house full of angels. So I want to thank you for teaching me about jurisdiction, putting together paperwork. We're going to take the Internal Revenue Service into court. And jurisdiction yes. is going to be I the first thing that's going to be established. Yes, I, we don't have a nexus with the federal government. We don't work for the federal government. We don't receive money from the federal government, so they have no jurisdiction over us. Mm-hmm. I'm located here in Tacoma, Washington. My name is Edward. I want to reach out to the people, the group that's located in Seattle. My cell phone number is mm-hmm. area code 253-255. Mm-hmm. Damn, I'm, fucking, I'm about to get my cell phone number. 253-255. Okay, good. Yeah, my cell phone number is area code 253-255-1393. I want to reach out to the group in Seattle because my plan was to bring Ikeem over here to Seattle in a private session, and I figure if we could get some of the people from Seattle to join in with me and my wife, we can bring we can bring him here to Tacoma for a one-day setting. So if anybody want to mm-hmm. call me here, I'm Edward in Tacoma, area code 253-255-1393 is my cell phone number. And I also want to give out my cell phone number to Armand, he has a gift of healing. There are some things I suppose have been told him at least two years ago, but I never could catch up with him. So, Armand, mm-hmm. you're supposed to be calling me. I'm supposed to share some things with you. And I want to thank you, Akeem, for the work you do. You are doing great work. I, you know what? The truth is the truth. So however it falls, it's just the truth. I just want to say that mm-hmm. I think you're going to supersede Jonah. I mean, it's, I, the, it's, the truth is the truth. And I think you're going to supersede him the way that your energy is working the things that you're doing, you're always there, 
and you're just coming up with new things, you know, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to be wrong. I think that you're going to supersede them all. Mm-hmm. I appreciate you saying that. And uh, I'm going places that uh, most people are not going to be able to go. I know. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> You're not. I can feel You're it. You're not, you know. So that's why I can't yes. get caught up in the extra stuff. I can't get caught up looking at that little stuff. I got to stay right where I'm at, what I'm yeah. doing, because stuff is just dro- I mean, absolutely just dropping out of the sky, literally. Like, where did this come from, you know? Yeah. The stuff I, I was reading today, you know, I was like, wow. You know, I was like, oh, man. And it's come. Yeah. It's all connecting to what we're doing. But I appreciate you saying that. I really appreciate because you saying that. Because that means that the universe is on on your side, and God and your angels have their hands on you, and you can't go but one direction, and that's up. That's exactly where I'm going. I ain't going backwards. Ain't no going backwards. Definitely. That's, that's so not an option. To, <laughs> so I want to get off. I just wanted to put my two, right, two cents in there and uh, let somebody else come on and uh, keep up the good work is all I want to say. Yeah, thank you. You know, you can, uh, what the brothers did in Las Vegas, what they did was they found the venue, put the hotel together, and gave me the date and then checked the date with me, and that's all basically what they did. And then uh, it was a few brothers got together. So if you want me to come out to Tacoma, Washington, I mean, just find me a venue. And I'll take yeah, I already, already got one. Five I already got one. But okay, see, you uh, got one. Okay. Well, see, we'll talk the, in the private more about it. We'll make yeah, it happen. definitely. Okay? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Okay. okay. All right, peace to the gods. Okay. All, All right, right. Peace. peace. Peace to the gods. All right, thank you. All right. Oh, let's go to uh, 734-686-7. All right, peace to the gods. What's going on, my How brother? you doing today? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing awesome, well today. man. Catch you tell. Yes. Catch you tell. I'm full of knowledge and information and energy, you know. <laughs> but go ahead, yes, man. What, what's good with you? How are you doing? How's your how's family? You know. My family's great. Um, my my grandson's coming up on his uh, sixth birthday in a couple of days, and we gonna hang oh, out together. And, yeah. And um, we gonna what do the red do? robin. I. He's going to we're going to take Robin, him to Red and okay. Robin, yeah. And um, okay. I'm gonna get him a Feel little like game card or a GameStop. Uh-huh. You know that's gonna be my present because I, I was telling my daughter it's like, I mean the whole toys things is just, I'm just you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm they like, don't want toys like they want games that. they want the right. little video games man they want that stuff man that's what right. they want right, right now. Yeah, yeah. That, my daughter's and, like that too. Um, she want to go to GameStop. She ain't into the little toys anymore. Right. She's not at all. And um, well, I didn't good, choke man. no one at the plantation today, so you know I'm grateful for that. <laughs> that definitely <laughs> is a good thing. You, you know, get yourself locked up. Yeah. Right. You made right. Move right. Without losing it. Yeah, that's right. definitely a positive. Right. Uh, so what's going on? What can I help you with? So, um. So I, the book that organizing your estate, I got the mm-hmm. book. I had to get it through the library though. I, that book is like gold. I, oh. I don't know what that book. That I mean, I mean, it's like wow. That's why. It's but I was able to get it through. Yeah. You're lucky and you I got it through the library. Are oh, you the one who emailed me? You said they were going to let you get it through a loaner program, like no. somewhere else. If somebody said they yes, found it yes. in a library in another yes, state, was, but some somewhere oh, else. Oh, no, 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 uh, no that was somebody else. Uh-uh. Okay. That was somebody else. I ended up getting it through the university, one of the universities here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and, okay. Um, Maybe that's what I need to look. I'm yeah. still waiting on my so copy I, to get here. Okay. Yeah, I went and picked yeah. it up yesterday from the library. And okay. um, I got him a testimony. Okay, what's the testimony? Um, I got my national passport. Oh, and yeah, uh, that's, yeah. that's a big testimony there. Yeah. And uh, don't change yeah. the SS five and also the driver's license. That went all smooth. So I'm just uh, waiting on my lawyer to come back. You knew you was going to get it done. 
That yes. it, it happened that way because you was confident. You know, you were confident. You you went in there and you owned them. You know, like this yeah. is me. I, I got this. You know, right. <laughs> What's I'm so glad awesome that, about it, though, dude, it's like when I first, because I had to turn in my own passport. So the first time right. I did it, it took like almost 90 days before I got it back. That passport back was a week. It only took a week for that passport to come back. I couldn't believe it. And then like the following week, I got the passport cards. I was astonished. Right. <clears throat> they move fast when you come in as a national. They move quick. Like, one lady, she got us in three days, you know, when she mailed it in. Yeah, okay. three days. Okay. One of the uh, sisters that work with me when they come to the seminars. Yeah. Okay. They don't. Yeah, man, I'm happy. I'm congratulations on all that. Your grandson, Thank you. your passport. Thank you. Now you just Thank you did your driver's license. Now they can't say Yeah, I did my driver's license. There's no mistakes out dri- there. Yes. There's no mistakes out there. There's no, <laughs> like, right. you can't say you're a U.S. citizen no more because you don't put it on the record. Yes, I have. You know, there's no more. Those assumptions are gone. So, all right, brother. Yeah, Appreciate yeah. That. one thing I wanted to ask you is the W-9 mm-hmm. and the W-8 form, okay, mm-hmm. and um, how to properly fill that out, or do I got to get a consultation with you about it? Did I give you – did you come to one of my seminars? Yes, I did. I was at the Detroit seminar. But it was before oh, you, you was doing that? the W-9 and W-8. You didn't discuss that at I'll the Detroit seminar. You. I'll send it to you if you went to the Detroit. I, I think I gave it to them. Well, did I have it then? I don't know if I – I was waiting for it to come in. Shoot me an email saying you the brother on the air, and I'll send you those W-8. It's already filled out, pre-filled out. But it's got my information, okay. and you just got to put yours in. Oh, okay. I'm going to show you how to fill and, it out. And, All right. Okay. And, and then it'll shut down. So when I do this, shutting down the process with the IRS? Yeah. Well, read it first. Okay. Um, it's really for what it is is when you go into a, a work situation with someone and they're requesting your tax ID number, that's mm-hmm. what you give them in lieu of the old the, the regular W eight W nine. When you see it, you'll understand what to do with it. Okay. Now I have cool. other tax stuff. I'm I, I'm going to do another IRS webinar. A couple of webinars I'm going to do. Uh, like right now, the most immediate one I'm going to do is uh, redoing the 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 IRS webinar because I got some more tax stuff. To shut them down with. I just was, I downloaded oh, a bunch okay. of stuff the other day. I, I, I've been all three it. Your, I have all three of them already. Yeah, but I'm about to add some done. fire to it now. Some real, oh, okay. real fire. I looked okay. up with some other people that's been doing the same work I've been doing, but doing it on a different, in a different <laughs> way. They, they've been successful with it. So we, I'm mm-hmm. going to combine what they did with what I do, and we're going we gonna to hit them over the head. That's what we're going to do now. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask so about doing the private web- membership thing. Um, how do I get involved? Yeah, I'm waiting with on that. the guy to finish the. Uh, yeah, all the people that did the the, the pri- passport process with me will get an mm-hmm. invite. So, uh, once I get it up and running, I'll be sending out the invitations to everybody. Okay. And the way it's gonna work, preliminary, that book you're talking about is a is a must have. You need to have it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so I'm glad you got it. Oh, uh, but it, I, I do have a PDF copy of it, though. So okay. I don't have a physical copy, but I have a PDF. Uh, but I'm working okay. on a physical copy. It said it was going to be here sometime next week. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see when it's estimated. When did I order this book? Um, let's see. Okay, I bought it on that. I had that bought it a while ago. It said estimated delivery date the 19th. So in a few couple of days. 
We'll see. Yeah. You know, it was one I, I I was searching they had said they had two copies on there and I got one. So Okay. It's yeah, like Seb Emmy has told like me to tell you hi, side. by the way. Yeah. Seb Timmy has told me to say Seb oh, Timmy has so told me to tell you hi. Peace, peace, pure energy, pure energy. Yeah. So I said, what's up? All, All right, right, brother. Thank you for the testimony. Um, you have a good evening. And don't forget to email me that so I can send you those W A W. Oh, which email? Hindsight ten twenty seven at Gmail. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Peace. All right. Peace. Let's go on. Uh, 715-501. 715-501. Peace. Peace. What's going on? How's it going, Akeem? It's going good. It's going, it's going excellent. good. How's it going with you? Great, great. Everything's everything's wonderful, man. I can't I can't complain. You know? Everything's going yeah, good. Man. I'm trying to get my health in order. Um <clears throat> I uh figured out a way to cook those pig feet. And uh <laughs> I slow cook <laughs> I cooked man, I, some cow I, feet last week, but go ahead. Yeah? How'd you go, oh, man? How'd yeah. you cook it? How'd you cook oh, that? Pressure cooker. Pressure cooker. Yeah. It comes out nice Jeez. and tender, yeah. When I did a pre- when I pressure, pressure cooked cooker? the pig feet, yeah, mm-hmm. I got one. I pressure cooked those pig feet before, and I think I did it for like a, two hours, and it was still rough, man. So this no, time put I'm it like, on high pressure, not on slow. You got to do it on high. No. If you do it on yeah, high it on, pressure, it'll uh, huh? Yeah, I had it on high. It, it just still it wasn't. It still it was rough. Forty five minutes to do the. Maybe I don't know. I didn't. I don't do the pig feet, but maybe uh, that. I, I don't see the difference. I did it for like I slow cooked it for ten hours, and man, that shit was just uh-huh. falling right off the bone. And uh, okay, you super did the easy. slow cook, bro. Okay. Yeah, really and it was like all the tendons and 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 collagen. It turned into like a soup. So then I just yeah. break that shit up, you know, and then I put uh-huh. it in the fridge. When you take it out the fridge, it looked like Jello, you know. Yes. It, yes. It was like, and then I, all you do is heat it up and just drink down the soup. I, I I ate the skin too, but it was so much easier, so much easier. Mm-hmm. So my my next yeah. thing, oh, what else did I? I ended up eating. Um, <laughs> I ordered the uh, what is it? Mount, Rocky Mountain oysters. <laughs> I ordered that. Yeah, I ordered it from Amazon yeah. and it came in four pounds worth. And uh, what was funny uh-huh. is that you know. It was it came breaded, and I spiced that up with some uh-huh. you know Spanish Mexican spices and stuff like that, and fried it. It right. looked like chicken. It tasted like chicken. <laughs> it was funny it like that chicken? people were. It tasted like chicken, and I gave it to like my family uh-huh. members, and none of the asses even knew it was <laughs> Rocky Mountain oysters. <laughs> <laughs> this is not so, like uh, cow uh, testicle. Buffalo. Yeah, this was buffalo though. Buffalo. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but I got it for my son okay. originally for his seizures because I was right. doing what Dr. Daniels uh, told me to do. But yeah, it wasn't bad, right. man. It wasn't bad. And, How's uh, it working for your son? He hasn't. It's been about a week. No, it's probably been about two weeks, maybe. And he hasn't had any seizures yet, and he's keeping straight on the diet. Um. So yeah, he's doing mm-hmm. good. And Dr. Daniels. What says, diet did she put him on? Basically. Honestly, Akeem, basically the same thing that Solomon said. You know, he had he, he, Sol, when I talked to Solomon, he said he needs to go on a strict, you know, vegetarian diet. You know, but right. Dr. Daniel says okay. he needs to eat veggies and he can have meat, but the meat has to have the bone in it and the skin on it because that'll be good for his brain. Right. And then so I right. gave him some of the pig feet, you know, the the, the Rocky Mountain oysters, and uh, he's doing good so far. He's What's crazy is that the medication that he was on um, restricted his eating. Like, he, he didn't want to eat, you know. But when I put right. him on this diet Just that Dr. That Daniels, that. yeah, this diet that Dr. Daniels put him on, this kid's eating like four times a day. He gained like about 10 pounds already. And it's crazy. He's like, wow. he's like, Dad, I, I never ate so much. And, like, I'm still hungry. So, so yeah, far, so good. Now, you know, 
when you're on that vegetarian diet like that, your your metabolism speeds up. Mm. It increases your metabolism and you burn it faster. Yep. Oh, so he burns it too. Fuel. This yeah, kid looks like Bruce Lee. Like he just, he just, he just cut up, man. <laughs> and he's nothing like me. Yeah. <laughs> But um yeah it's yeah you start to oh you know? uh, yeah you burn whenever you on that strictly green and you know eat meat here and there you you're gonna be hungry you're gonna eat more than one meal a day yeah yeah uh, more than three at least yeah yeah because you so feel I, like you I'm never can, you're not full you need more but you know what you could do is increase the water intake that'll cut down on yep. a lot of eating yep I uh, actually see she recommended for depression that he needs to up his water intake and he's got poop three times a day. And he's actually doing right. that now because that medication made him depressed and, um, you know, mm-hmm. sad and stuff like that. <clears throat> so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm cooking up some liver right now. All right. That was another thing that she told me to put him on liver. So I mean, I'm mm-hmm. cooking up some liver right now. Um, but yeah. Oh, calf well. liver. Calf liver. Yep. Mm-hmm. How much? How many? How much do you eat that a a, a week? Or do you do you eat that every week? It depends. You, you eat that. It depends on you, your person, what what your needs are. If you if you need more than once a week, eat it. If you don't, it could be just once a week. Mm-hmm. You know, it just okay. depends on how it makes you feel. Gotcha. Okay. You know? so I always I thought that you eat too much liver, it might be bad for you or something like that. Like you could well, overdose you about or the crap. Liver. Yeah. Listen to her yeah. show from this past week. Mm. She breaks down. Was it this week? No, I don't well, know. Well, she goes last... over liver. She goes over. I think oh. it was this past weekend. She's doing a okay. podcast now, so she's not doing that radio network anymore. Uh, I was wondering because I was trying to update her show and nothing was coming in. Li- liver is you can catch her on YouTube because she what she does she uploads it to YouTube. Um, okay. What she she broke down liver versus an apple, and showed huh. how liver was almost ten times more beneficial. The calf liver, not the adult liver, the calf yeah. liver was more beneficial ten times than eating an apple. Oh, I believe it. That thing is she like went to all the vitamins that you get out of the liver and stuff like that. She broke that down step by step. Okay. Um, Have to check. I have to check her out on YouTube. Yeah. Because I was like... Yeah, it's, I, it's I, the, I her, her last show that she did. I think it's on YouTube. I listened so much of her over the past week. I can't... I hope I'm giving you the right one. But she went over liver and broke okay. it down. And what yeah, divided the one it does for you. I didn't listen to the last mm-hmm. week one because I got all of her other shows I listened to already. Okay, cool. I'll check that out. Yeah. Um, what else was uh, I going to ask you? Uh, oh, you, so you 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 got a copy of that? That organizing your estate? Yeah, I how did you find that? Through the A books back on the twenty eighth. Well, one morning I woke up and it said it had two copies, and I ordered it. But oh. it said it'd be on the nineteenth, so a couple of days it's supposed to be here. But I haven't gotten like a shipping confirmation. I got an order number, but uh, where's it coming uh, from? Is it in the United States? Is it coming from the United States? Site- Oh, they said they I know it. it, so it should be here. It's okay. been shipped. Man. But they nice. didn't give me a tracking number. Yeah, it's been shipped. So I should cool. have it. I got a bunch of yeah. I ordered a bunch of those books. Uh, um, the before it's saying probably. Executor one. There's like an LLC one and about open up your own business one. I I, I probably bought about five of them already. <clears throat> but uh, Right. Okay. I haven't really yeah, gotten into one that day one. Yeah, I, I was looking for it, and it popped up on wow. eight books. It had two copies. I ordered one. So <laughs> you got lucky. So uh, I did. Uh, nice. But remember, I sent you a PDF copy of it anyway, so mm-hmm. you got it. Yep. yep. Uh, I only read, like, the first three pages so far. But um, Yeah, it's just so hard to read it in a PDF style, you know? <laughs> um, yeah. What else I was going to say? I know what I noticed when I've been ordering stuff. Mm-hmm. It's saying USA instead of US. When you pick the country uh-huh. and all of that, it's the you yeah. know, when you say it, most of the sites now have switched up and started using USA. 
That's interesting. Like for instance, I'm looking at the book. It says Wellington, Florida, USA. It doesn't say US. Huh. Now I I'm talking about all over the place. I went to I was looking at uh another site and it was saying I was filling out a form and it said USA instead of the US. Wow. A lot of these places are correcting that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Is that interesting? Yes. Yeah. That's uh, yes. times are changing, man. More and okay. more. That's good. That's good. If something's going down. <laughs> yep, I think One so. One day you're going to wake back right. up. Wake up, you're going to be in the republic again. Or wow. you're going to be a republic instead of a, yep. a democracy. The, my older, I, I got my, my oldest, his uh, passport, but it hasn't come in yet. It's been about two months already. Uh, like I, I don't you, know if they're like, you know been back home. You and ask them. Yeah, no, I got to get the receipt. Did you do expedited? I had I did expedite expedited too, you know. And he's the one that's on social by now. You better. No, I didn't. No, you need to call them. Something's going on. You need to call them. Yeah, I gotta check that out. What's interesting is that Uh my son's on on SS, you know, Social Security, and I'm I want to see what it does with the Social Security, you know. So I'm waiting for that passport. But yeah, I'm gonna call them. Um, one one book I, I was on though. I'm probably about halfway through. Is that? Uh, Have you gone online to check the status of it? No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't online been so check damn the busy. Of it. Yeah, I'll check yeah. that out. Um, one book that you you put us on that uh, Corpus Soul. <clears throat> I'm about mm-hmm. halfway through on that one. But uh, mm-hmm. the thing with that is uh, you need to have a registered agent, and it's got to be from like like seven, one of the seven states that have, that recognize it or something like that. And you got to, got to have That's someone fine. that already, and who was it? Well, Another when we said private that, membership, you're going to get your registered agent. Nice. Okay, cool. Because that's what I was wondering about. Like, I read those because that, setting up the corporate soul, you need all kinds of offices and all of that stuff. So, mm-hmm. It has to be a group effort. It ain't just something you can do on your own. Like, you can't just go, I'm going to set this up. You got to have, you know, people in offices in that when you set that Well, they were saying that now, now, I think in the book it was saying that now, like, you know, they got churches online, and you could just say that you're doing it, you know, a, a internet-based, you know, ministry or something yeah. like that. You know, yeah. you don't even have to have yeah. all that. Yeah. But they're saying something about being that you have to be an ordained minister in some way. That was another thing I got kind of hung well, up on. Who, who's got to ordain you? The only person who ordain you is God Himself. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. You know how many preachers out there talking about they ordained by God? And they yeah, yeah. It. Okay, cool. A lot of them have to say, or like I read that book, and there's some things that I'm not going to do. You know, mm-hmm. I, you know, you have to read through it and then put it together and customize it for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So I've, I've read, I haven't read it all through, but I've skimmed through and I see some things. Okay, chuck that. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. Because that, that okay. who wrote that book is a straight up bona fide oh, minister Orthodox of Christian. his own church. Yeah, right. yeah. He's yeah. all talking about the Holy Spirit <laughs> and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So his so what his point of view is all throughout that book. I'm looking mm-hmm. at the application. The form. Yeah, yeah. I, that's what I'm looking at it for. You know. Mm-hmm. So and then the IRS has like some sort of 14 point system that you have to go go mm-hmm. through in order to get it or something like that. But yeah, I'll, I'll, right. I right. mean, if you know more about that stuff, you can do that private membership mm-hmm. for sure. I'm, I'll be on that. Um, Right. Well, I was gonna ask you something else, man. I forgot. All right, Akeem. Um hope all, all right, is well man. with Peace. you, man. PC family and PC That'd you, man. Great. Peace. great, great. Awesome, right. man. Okay. All, all right. right. Cool. Peace. Peace. That's right, uh liver is good for that energy. It's got every see, you don't even need those those drugs they try to give you for anemia. You only just eat that liver. You'll be straight. Uh, 914920.
Peace, peace, peace to the gods, Akeem. What's good, man? Peace to the God. What's going on, brother? What's good? Hey, man, everything's great, man. Uh, the Atlantic City Seminar, that was fantastic, man. That was fantastic. Thank you, I loved brother. it. That was great. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate all the work you put in. Um, Thank you, brother. Now, what's going on with me? Was y'all yeah, full when y'all left? Was y'all full? Was you full? Or did, did, yeah, I, did I leave you? <laughs> Uh, nah, nah. It, she was on point, brother. Everything was everything was everything. You you put it down. I okay. can't even front on you. You said you said a lot of stuff that just made sense. And then when I heard you talking today about that movie again, I'm gonna go back and watch that movie again because it's some. It's funny that you said something about what's going on in the movie and how to give notice. Mm-hmm. Because I read mm-hmm. something online today, and they talked about how people used to give notice back in the days. And they, yes. all they did was, all they did was, mm-hmm. I don't even want to talk about it, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's simple. I, it's, it, listen, it's so simple. When you said that, that smacked me in my face. It's like, what is wrong with me? It's, it's not even it's necessary. Right, the man is right okay, there. In the middle of the movie, try, not towards, uh, a little later on when he went back to the consulate. Right. He said, the dude said, I why you ain't tell me? You. I, right. I have to admonish you, you didn't come in. If it wasn't for the newspaper, I wouldn't have known you. I never you know, know you was I here. <laughs> he said, well, I didn't know. He said, well, I didn't know. He didn't come to the and right just, place. And it's just he that simple. He didn't go to the right you, window. Yeah. It's just that simple, man. It's just that simple. Yeah. Load it up. Yeah. Man. What, was that, uh, what was that document you was reading from? Because I got in a little late. I heard you reading something that I felt like it's I needed a, to hear. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's the just the KV Act of uh, 1666. Okay. Just do a do a Google search. You'll pull it up. That's what I was reading. Okay. And that has to okay. do with the movie. Remember, he was lost in right. the sea. Right. Right. And he right. ended up. And right. You got. I got to go back and re-examine the movie because it said he was lost in the sea, and it talks about uh, where he was and how he ended up and. Then right. you know, he, he, and then when he, he when he went in there, um, uh, to the thing, the guy said, "You might find your berth in the cargo ship, and you can find your passage exactly. way back home. And you can find your passage way home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and he so, went in there looking for a job. Like, wait a minute, why word. did he say that? You know, word. <laughs> so you got That's to go. Said. And here's the thing: the way they spell things over there is different from how we spell things here. Like this, right. always, right? I'm reading this thing. It's from Europe over there, right? Always uh-huh. is spelled A-L-W-A-Y-E-S. Right. You see? So when you're looking and living is spelled L-I-V-E-I-N-G. And then it's right. spelled B-E-E-N-E-E. So He's saying those words. You got to go find out how they're spelled over there, so you can get the true meaning of it. Right. You see, man, it was. I, I mean, so I that, know he's not saying B I R T H. He's saying B E R T A T. Birth. Right. 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 So, and that's yeah. what you was talking about the certificate. Yeah, I, I was listening to. It. I was like that. I, I just need to know where you was getting that from so I could pull that document up myself. Because I always like to read mm-hmm. stuff you guys read from, man, because, you know, you get a better understanding of what's going on if you do that. At least I feel like that. Mm-hmm. And, oh, something else yep. I wanted to tell you. Um, I've been reading, a, I read a book. I don't, don't ask me what I was doing in the Salvation Army, man. I was <laughs> I, I was taking lunch. And I was walking around, you know, enjoying the the little sunshine we got left before I get to the winter, and uh, something drew me to the Salvation Army. And I went to mm-hmm. the book section, and I pick up this book, and mm-hmm. it's called um, it's called Eat Right for Your Type, right? And it's all about yeah, blood heard types. Yeah, I've Yeah, it's all about that. blood Lie, types. I've heard it's that. The, yeah, it's the four blood types. I can I can I got this book for two dollars. It's the, it's, well, it's that's the four blood book. types, right? Yeah, it's the four blood types, and this guy, his father—I forget the name. If I had the name, I, if I if I could remember the name, I would say it out loud so people could look it up. But it's called "Eat Right mm-hmm. for Your Type," 
And um, the guy expanded on information that his father had put down. So this guy's in the, you know, he's pretty accomplished. But besides all that, mm-hmm. I just read the book. I know my blood type. I read the book, and just what he said, it just makes sense to me. And I've been doing, I've been, right. I've been doing it for like the last ten, ten days, and like stuff okay. like peanuts, right? He says, like for my blood mm-hmm. type, peanuts is not good for me, and I love peanuts, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. I always keep like a half stuffy nose or something like that, and I never knew why. I stopped eating peanuts Peanut. for like ten days, and I've been drinking, yeah, and I've been drinking enough, a lot of water, right? My nose is, right. my nose is not stuffy. It's not stuffy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And just to test yeah. it out, like five days ago, I ate some peanuts. Immediately, my nose got stuffed. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and some stuff that he that he breaks down in the book, I know that I've eaten and I stopped eating because it was giving me bad reactions. So I know this guy know what he's talking mm-hmm. about. So you know, yeah. I just wanted to put that out there for the people. I ain't saying swear by so it. You know, take eat you, right for your blood type. Eat right for your type. That's what it's called. Eat right for your type. And it's a man, it's this ever since I've been following it, I can definitely say that uh I feel like I feel like this guy knows what he's talking about. Yeah, I I've I heard that somebody uh mentioned that to me before. Um and, yeah. Uh, it oh says, I see yeah, you got to go for at a discount because they got it on Amazon for eighteen dollars. Right. I got this book for two bucks. <laughs> you got it. You know what I'm saying? Two bucks. And mm-hmm. I'm telling you, man, this guy, this guy, just just from my own experiences and knowing how I live and what I eat, I know he knows what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. just wanted to put that out there for the people, man. I heard okay. the other guy talk about it. So yeah. to, to everybody, take a look at it. See if it works well. for you. Take, take what works. What don't, throw it out. Okay. All right, it's by Peter D. Uh-huh. J. D. Adamo. Yep, that's him. Oh, nah. That's him. Okay. Got it. All right, bro. All right, man. All, All right. Peace, man. Thanks for that. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yes, peace. All right. Peace to the gods. All right, peace to God. All right, let's go to 702 Hello? About what? Hello? Hello? Hello, hello. I don't think they're ready. Hello. Okay. Let's go to four one nine three eight zero. Oh. As soon as I hit that, it went up. It got knocked off. Oh, let me let me try this, brother, one more time before I call it a night. Seven zero two three five seven. Peace, Hakeem. I didn't want nothing, man. I don't need it. I didn't even put myself oh. in the queue. This is Jackson, though, out here in Vegas. Man. Oh, okay. Peace. Hey, what's going on, brother? All right. Okay. Not too much, man. I'll, I'll shut it down for you. All right. Right peace. on, man. All right. I'll see y'all out All in right, Vegas peace. in a few, few weeks. Yeah, All definitely. Right. Definitely. Look forward, man. Thank you. Okay. All right. Peace. All right, man. All right, though. All right, y'all. That's it for me. Eight fifty-five. It's almost nine. I've been. I was up early reading all day. That's all I'm doing. I'm tired. Oh, uh, I'll see y'all on Thursday. Oh, uh, peace and have a good night.